And with that, we start the weekend. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday. It is System Saturdays, as always. Good morning there, Mad Ducks. Uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good week, and hope uh, your weekend's off to a good start. Actually, one thing I thought we'd look at first real quick is loading up the Bestiary, the game we've got. Quite a few things we haven't actually seen yet, actually. But more importantly, though, uh, looking for those additional summons. Uh, like the... Oh, I'm getting an echo, aren't I? There. Let's go ahead and stop that there. That was my mistake. All right. Anyway. Uh, yeah, looking for those additional summons like the goblin here on the regular goblin. Uh, yeah, all these guys. Yeah, anyway. Bahamut Odin. Oh, Dark Bahamut. Yeah, it's all the bosses, things like that. Cindy Mindy. Oh, wow, well, look at that. It took out four right and four left arms on Bagan. Mom Bomb. Drillmaster, what was that? Oh, these guys, that's right, that's right. Oh, they were in Yang's challenge. Grudge Puppets. We actually defeated a Platinum Toad? Heck yeah, high five. Oh yeah, look at that, thanks for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's see here. Because... Okay, yep, see Minecraft and it has the Mind Flare. Uh, well, I don't know if we'll be bumping into these guys anytime soon because those were in a challenge, right? The, uh, missed things. Yeah, they're in... Radius challenge, I think. King Bahamut, we can still bump into. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got the bomb core. We got that uh, a couple weeks ago. That's one out of the four. Yeah, we still need to get the goblin summon. Have we bumped into the mind flares at all? We almost had to have. Almost had to have. Alright, let's just... Because they're kind of near the top-ish here. Okay. Zombie Toad. And we're not looking to complete this uh, hole. Yeah, okay, we did, we did... Yeah, we did bump into the Mind Flare. And I think they were in that, uh, in the one cave, the cave with the, uh, Toria, where we got the earth crystal. But anyway, we're going to go back. We're just starting over again in the ruins. Oh, let's get to the fat chocobo, because we need to, can't remember if we did this or not last time. Let's see, deposit some items here. Free up some inventory space. Yeah, we didn't do this. Yeah, so red fang, blue fang, uh, decoy. We'll keep the decoy around. Uh, yeah, sadly, Stardust does Jack. Uh, we'll keep all the summons on us. Still can't do anything with the frying pan. That's stuck in there. Uh, we'll keep Thor's hammer around. Uh, the Holy Lance we can dip in. Oh, that's right. We got the Vishnu vest, and I'm pretty sure that's for Yang. That's right, we were gonna head back uh, real quick, I think. But nah. Let's just head back out. We'll sort our items real quick. Head back in, do a little bit of grinding, and uh, go after that big, mean, nasty boss. Go after that big, mean, nasty boss we got. I mean, we've pretty much gotten all the treasures uh, in all these different uh, rooms and areas and such.
So like as far as just, you know, combing each inch of these things will be good to just go to the next level and next level until we start getting to the like, you know, oh, like these guys, we got to take these guys out. Well worth the uh, chance to get the, that goblin summon. Well, thanks for joining us. You'll find out there is a lot of different content here on the uh, on WBPL. Uh, it's not well. Wow. Okay. We'll smack her for all that damage. But yeah, we get a bunch of different people contributing and sharing with the community at large. Having the map might. <sighs> yeah. Hey, look at that. We got that free holding spell. That wasn't that bad. Oh, look, free tornado spell. Let's count how many times we actually get that one. Oh, no free flare. You know, X potion, I'll take that. We'll take those. Nope, can't go through that wall. Uh, aha, there it is. Oh yeah, art, video games, cooking. Yeah. Squick is indeed, a th Squick is indeed here. That is right, he is indeed here. Okay, yeah. It, I, I listen to the podcast. It's 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 a fun show to listen to. Ah, uh, nah, these guys they ain't worth nothing to us. Not for a while now, good, good. Well, once again, welcome aboard. Uh, now that magic dragon stop, it's not worth the trouble. Just one second. Why are we here? I don't know, man. Why are we here? Are we here because of some cosmic coincidence? Is there even a god out there? With a plan for us and stuff. I don't know, man. What keeps me up at night? That is true. That's just, you know, one thing we gotta think about. Time to time is why are we here? Oh, we'll just hit, let's hit her with a hammer again. Because it's fun. Stop. Hammers yet. Or halt. There's that double jump. Oh, that. Oh, free healing. Even though we haven't... Yeah, we haven't... Yeah, haven't been hurt that much, but I mean, I'm not gonna pass up uh, free healing, cuz... White Chocobo! Free magic back. There we go. All right. And that's all that's in here. Just some white chocobos giving out free magic restorations. And we just kind of just rest up and heal here. And then uh, we just find the exit and move on. Right? Yeah. 
Is the exit the way we came in? There is, there's the exit. This was Edward's challenge. The only reason we have a red base over here is because blue base because the blues have a blue base over there. The only reason they have a blue base over there is because we have a red base over there. Well, yeah, it's because we're fighting each other. Okay. Time for questions. All right, let's watch that shed. All right, one chocobo, one pig, two pig, one frog, three pigs, one monk, two frogs, five, six pigs. How many pigs were there? Uh, gosh, I'm pretty sure there were six pigs. Pretty sure there were six pigs. Uh, we can always clip that real quick, which I'm doing right now, to see how many piglies there were. Okay, I'm watching the clip right now. Watching the clip right now. Let's go ahead and advance that clip a little bit. Okay, yep, there's one piggy, two piggy, three piggy. Four piggy, five piggy. Oh, five piggies. Wow, I miscounted. That's correct! Yes! Hey, a Mega Elixir. You know what? We'll take that. We'll take the Mega Elixir. Okay, bye, old man. Oh, this one now. Okay. Uh, Alright. Oh. 2167. 2167. Three nine zero four. We're getting all the fun puzzles again, aren't we? Okay. Yep. All right. Two. One. I think six is like right yeah, there. Six. Yep. Six. Seven. What? Buzz? What do you mean, buzz? Oh, okay, I misread that. Two, one, six, seven. Oh, I picked the wrong thing. Three, nine, zero, four. Damn you, Tommy Two Tone. Once again, two, one. Six, seven. Wait, yeah, so I thought three. Three nine oh four. Oh dang it! Oh, that's what I get for running. Same thing. Yep. Okay, it doesn't change each time. over and around. Under and around, rather. Alright. 2167 yeah. 2167-3904 We'll go this way and walk. That's eight. Oh. And four is up and over. Where did I get five from that first time? Huh. It's weird. 
Oh, no, this one, actually, we kind of need a map for, actually. Because there's a lot of just, uh, a lot of different paths we can take in this one. So, let's just look at that real quick here. Yeah, it's that trial. That's that one. Okay, come on. Right. After Edward. Here it is. Okay. So, that is our exit. So, we pretty much hug right, I think we can get to. No. Hug the center on the left side. There we go. Ooh, got Bob Bobble Blends. There, that got Bob has gone. I mean, that Assassin's Dagger is never going to do its special little, like, you know, one-hit kill thing, but it's nice to have. It's nice to think it could happen. like that it's using that thunder effect for the weapon swing. I think that's pretty neat. Free holy spell? Oh, no free holy spell. Free flare spell? Yeah, free flare spell. We'll take that. I should have waited. Because now I'm dead! Levels for a couple of you, yes. Well, I mean, he's going to swing at the next target anyway, so. You know what? Let's use our cool new special rare summon, the bomb. Hey, look at that flare spell. I didn't kill him. Interesting. Why? That was Rudia's challenge. Oh, this one. Well, we just random portals until we finally get out. I'm honestly convinced that's how this one works. You just take random portals until it finally decides to let you out. There's no rhyme or reason to this one that I've actually... I may have figured out once, but I highly doubt it. There we go. Look at that. That didn't take as excruciatingly as long as it used to. Bye, bombs. more bombs. Oh wait, no, not yet. We'll be seeing more bombs, but not these guys yet. Protect. There we go. Chunk chunk. Hey, look, free, free spell. Hooray! There we go. Oh, that's right, we had a bunch of keys from that thing. 
in another map. Uh, you know, we can just run from... Oh, we can't escape. Oh, yeah, that's right, because they're like a mandatory thing, because they're like, hey, right there, look at me. We're like, fine, we'll kill you. No, don't kill us, please. Yeah, we're going to kill you. Why? Because you're a roadblock, that's why. No. I don't like it. beating this game today and moving on to something new next week um, I'm leaning into the Mega Man X trilogy on the Super Nintendo I think I'll probably play those next uh, and after that so um, who knows who knows what will be after that I know Metroid Prime Remaster on the Switch. That's a really strong contender for the next game uh, after those. But, uh. But yeah, I think we'll stick with Super Nintendo 2 for just a little while longer before I jump up to the Switch. Um. Although I might swap gears. Uh, I don't do speed runs, so don't uh, don't think I'm gonna be. Uh, I mean, it, more or less, it'll be a completionist run because I'll be for Metroid Prime. Um, I will be using the GameCube strategy guide, which I still have back when it came out on the GameCube. So it'll be more completionist than everything, but than anything, but it'd be like a casual completionist because it's just. Okay, we can do this. This is here. We can grab this now. We can go back and do this kind of thing. But... Oh, seven... I mean, yeah, people like their people like their games. They go back and replay them and just grind out. I've got quite a few hours on the original... Uh, on my copy of the Super Nintendo version of this game. So, yeah, I get that. I get that. Um, although I will say I probably will swap gears to Tears of the Kingdom when it comes out because I enjoy Breath of the Wild a lot and if I haven't watched the uh, 10 minute 10 minute preview of uh, Tears of the Kingdom but if it's a lot like how Breath of the Wild was I will really enjoy Tears of the Kingdom so uh, I think That'll be fun to play through on the channel. Kind of just taking things slowly and casually uh, and just experiencing the game kind of naturally. Because that is coming out uh, next month, I'm pretty sure. So I got a lot of those arrows. I could sell off a lot of those arrows too because I'm not using many of them. I mean, sure, they're only taking up a slot, technically, but that's also, like, a lot of money. Eh, it's, it's not a lot of money, actually, I'm lying. Well, I could have done, grabbed items, though. Oh, well. Well, we're decent on items anyway, we didn't know. And there we go. We remember that floor. I remember this floor. Oh, yeah, I remember the floor. Okay, we're done remembering. Uh, this one's a little more trickier, though. Uh, I pretty much think we just stick like, to the center, though, and we'll be fine on this one. Or something. Oh, no, we just go up and down, up and over. That's it, yeah. We took the least direct way, but yeah. Oh no, preemptive strike. Bye. Bye. 
Yeah, I remember this floor. It was a Tower of Zot. I thought I was getting double music there for a second. Uh, no, Bats, you're not worth it. You're not worth it. And we already looted this place. Doo -doo. Is it in the middle-ish? Oh no, it's that doorway right there we can take. Uh, we've already got the bombs, we're good. We got the bomb summon. Clunk. We already got all these. Yeah. I remember this place. You remember this place? I remember. No. No. We don't want to deal with them. That was Edge's challenge, the confusing ninja palace. Oh! You have come, you have come far. I must now ask you some questions. Walk through the door to respond with your answer. All will be revealed by the choices you make. Are you more of the intellectual type or athletic type? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of middle of the road there personally, but uh, let's go with athletic. Let's go with athletic. To restore HP, I use potions or cure spells. Usually more cure spells in this game. So you just you know, kind of hoard those potions, especially since like now, since they really don't do a whole lot of healing. When encountering enemies, do you size them up or attack immediately? Uh, we've done, I think we've done more sizing up, especially when it comes to, uh, especially this late game now. You would be perfect as an engineer. Here's a mech set for you, for you gadget freaks. Mech set, interesting. What do we have here? Oh, I see. It's just a bunch. It's, it's just some items here. Oh, I and they're like mech uh, inspired a siren. Yeah, things like that. Okay, you know what? Let's. I'm gonna look at the, that little guide real quick and see anything under eight. No. I mean, they're worth looking at, worth checking out. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he doesn't really say anything about this uh, this room here. Okay. Uh, honestly, no, I've never really played anything over six. Uh, I tried playing Final Fantasy VII, but I just couldn't get into it. I found it a bit boring. Magic Dragon. Let's beat it up. Yeah, suck it, Dragon. How do you like it? How do you like it? Having Tornado Maelstrom used on you first attack. But yeah, I tried playing Final Fantasy VII. Um, I guess I just, just didn't click for me. I mean, I watched a friend play through most of it initially when it first came out um but oh how rude of you how very rude of you magic dragon but um and i finally got it for myself years later but um yeah i just i mean i got to the part where uh i was chasing yuffie around after she stole all the materia and i just got bored and stopped playing after that because that was just kind of annoying. And then uh, I dropped the game, and then years later I'm like, what was I doing again? But I mean, we all have our own preferred Final Fantasies. I like Final Fantasy 4 and 6 because those were my first games. And I just enjoyed the stories. Uh, obviously, since I'm playing through this through the umpteenth time, it seems.
Uh, let's see what Asura will do for us. What face do we get? No whammies, no whammies. Uh, no whammies. We got a whammy. Yep, yeah, we got a whammy. Uh, like I said, I did start playing Final Fantasy 1. Um, so I'm almost certain I have it. Uh, Kane's Trial. Um, I know I have the Origins set on the PlayStation. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, I, again, I really can't give any honest thoughts about 9 because I've never played 9. I've never played anything intensely above six i've i've played one before i played most of i got through quite a bit of one like i said i think i might have that on the gamecube i mean not the gamecube but the Game Boy advance and i'm pretty sure i think i have final fantasy origins which is like final fantasy one and something else on uh the playstation um and i really haven't played like the original two or anything like that or the original three i've I think I've played some of five. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I really haven't played any of the newer stuff. Um, I, I watched a buddy play, the same friend play through most of eight, or at least some of eight, uh, that played through seven, and that was about it. I just really haven't followed the Final Fantasy series that heavily. What's this one? Wait, what is this one? Oh, firewood. Okay. Clean water. Okay. This is a new puzzle room. We haven't been here before. Here, get the hell out of here, Magic Dragon. No, we don't want to deal with you. You guys are jerks. It's a grave with a symbol of a lifeless tree. Well, trees need water to grow. The lifeless tree begins to flourish. The door is opened. Well, thank you, door. Oh, we got honey. No, magic dragons, go away. We don't want to deal with you. Grave is engraved with a symbol of a small bear. Ah, well, bears like honey. Here you go, little buddy. You have some honey we picked up. The small bear, full from his meal, begins to sleep peacefully. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? The door's open because we gave the bear honey. Oh, hey, look, there's a little fire right there. Hang out. Well, you know what, Larry? Let's. Firewood. Let's look to create a torch. Ow. Maybe that's not a good thing. Who knows? There's a little girl down here. Or a doll. Obtained a doll. Okay, we have a doll now. We might need to go back and get that firewood, though. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, hey, it's a magic... It's a secret... Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. To the Mega Elixir. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. That's very rude of you to use that tornado, sir. Yeah, eight draw system is something that's really, really different from the other games. Yeah, so eight would be a rough one to start with, you're right. Oh, the second disc didn't work? Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Because those Magnum Dragons can just suck it. Alright, well, that was that. Secret Tunnels. Hearing Thunder. Magic Dragons, no. <clears throat> Okay, we did lose our firewood. So let's go and grab 
that back if we can. Oh, I guess not. Oopsies. Well, a symbol of a lightless... Oh, a lightless lantern. Let's use the torch to light the lantern. The lantern slowly begins to emit some light. And the door is opened. Look at that. Okay, are there any more? Ooh, you. You look fun. Let's fight you. Study it. Study it, boulder. Hmm. Yes, 24,000 health. Throw weapons it's vulnerable to. Which I think could also be... Cons I think arrows are also considered thrown weapons. Let's see. Oh, well, double jump. I'll, yeah, there, double jumps is hacks. It's basically guaranteed four nines. No, I'm a bird. You give us anything good, Mr. Bird? No, it didn't. Let's just check these walls real quick. That oh, magic dragons. No, we're good. We're done with you. We're done with you guys. No, 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 thank you, magic dragons. Screw off. Because those rocks might indicate something, but I don't think so. Okay. I swear to God, it is more magic dragons. Engraved with a picture of a somber girl looking down at the ground. Oh, she looks sad. Let's give her a dolly. Let's give her that doll we found. The girl's laughing happily with the doll. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? And it unlocked the door for us. Thank you. <laughs> it looks I'm gonna guess there's a secret patches around here somewhere, right? Please? No? Okay, I guess not. Alright, up this way. Oh, and just the exit. Okay, it's just a mega elixir in here then. Dolls in escape? Yeah, I, I can understand how they could be PTSD. Oh hey, look, we're here. In this town. Again, I keep forgetting which ones we've got. The blacksmith prevents poison, poison. Because we bought the tabby or the chocobo suit. I know we bought one of those. Vest, vest is probably for Yang, but uh, we are... Oh no, vest is probably for... For Edward. The battle gear is for Yang, but we've already got the... Uh, Uh, we already got the Vishnu Vest, so I think he'll be fine with that. Yeah, let's, we don't even need to worry about those. We don't need to worry about the weapons in this, in here this time. Uh, what about... How are we looking stat-wise? Yeah, we're, no, we're pretty good on, uh, on numbers. We're good on numbers, so we can just go ahead and leave the town then. Wait a second. Let's, let's check the item shop, actually, real quick. So we missed the last item shop. That's the end. Big man! Froggy person. A frog man! Alright, let's see here. Bye. High potions. Oh, we got plenty of Phoenix Downs. Remedies! Uh, was that? Yeah, we're good on remedies. We got plenty of those. Quite a bit of those. Don't need those. Uh, you know what? Let's just get three of these just in case. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, dolls are kind of creepy in this game. I, I uh, will not lie. They can be potentially kind of creepy in this game. Kind of creepy in this game. I'll give you that much. Do, do, tick -a -ding, tick -a -ding. Uh, but we will go ahead and save. Because I think this is like potentially our last save point uh, before getting into the thick of things. Well, Floor of Membrance. Yeah, I remember this floor. Uh, where's Float? There it is. There we go. Legend Oh, yeah, I've got Legend of the Guy. That was a pretty cool game because um, it's got that whole, like, custom combo system where you can just make moves and just do stuff. That was 
those are pretty cool. Uh, I've got that game somewhere. I would very much like to find it and maybe play that. But PlayStation, come all, it does all come down to do I know where my original memory cards are at? So uh, PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 games, those are all going to be very much uh, do I know where things are at for that. But yes, Legend of Lagai was a was a very interesting game. Uh, the story was pretty good too. Uh, I got decently far in that game uh, before the system got packed up and things started to move around, though. Well, hey, look, free flare. Yeah, looking up all the combos and everything is, is interesting. Uh, see what unlocks all the special... Uh, get unlocking all the special moves and things like that. But also just finding them yourself is always fun, too. I think... Uh, one place I stopped playing that game was doing some grinding for, like, a story boss related to the lightning guy. I think that's where I ended off at. Uh, because I think he went to a one-on-one -on -one battle. And he wasn't quite... Yeah, he wasn't quite as strong as the other two characters. Um, because, all, like, additionally... Uh, just You don't get a lot of uh, cash in that game. Yeah, Gala. But yeah, you, you don't get a lot of cash in that game, I think. So, you really gotta grind out money to uh, get items in that game. If you wanna buy items and armor and stuff like that. The economy in that game isn't really that balanced, if I'm remembering correctly. Same with... Same with healing, because uh, everyone is a magic user, but no one is a magic user in that game. Um, everything is basically like uh, the rare summons are in this game, and as you defeat enemies, you have a chance of like capturing their essence or something like that to uh, get them as a summon. And even then, you're always not guaranteed and you have to use those abilities over and over and over again to level them up uh, to level them up to make them stronger and you without a guide you don't necessarily know what levels what monsters will do what kind of uh, abilities some will heal yeah at least 10 times okay that's interesting Uh, but yeah, but like some do heal, but you know, it starts off very insignificant healing and then you know, we'll eventually build up But yeah, that game is that that's a very interesting game. I did I I like the um, I like what that game had to offer as far as ingenuity and just new ways of doing things uh, I'll probably I mean, I, I will also be playing the uh, Suikoden games when they come out. Uh, oh, Kaisar's Plate. I think that goes on. Yeah, there we go. Look, and that's a that's a pretty big boost. Yeah, uh, armor that prevents various status ailments. Yay! So oh, armor made to worship, made in the worship of an ancient leader. Interesting. Okay, we'll take that one. But, um, Spoon Summon. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that game had a lot going for it as far as, like, its interesting innovations and things like that. Like I said, the combo battle system was fun. Um, and just all the different abilities you do with those combos. Uh, the, Vo the, the, the character voices were interesting and just you know in the battle sequences things like that that was like where the that was like the only place I believe where there was voice acting um could be a little grainy but not not, not too much so 
Uh, but like I said, when they do come out on Steam, I will be playing the Suikoden 1 and 2 uh, on stream. Um, and probably in my free time too, though. But uh, but yeah, I've got both those on the PlayStation. But I would like to I would like to play those with with the nice uh, upgrades that uh, Konami is giving them. And I think those will be fun because I did enjoy the first two games. I enjoyed one, two, and five. I played some of three. I have Suikoden four, but I haven't played that one yet. I tried playing three. It just it was too much of a diversion from what one and two were to keep me interested. So I so I kind of dropped that one, but I got but like I said, I played five because reading up on that, it was a lot. It went back to roots. It went back to roots as far as how it was played and things like that, and the story and things like that. Plus, it was also a prequel to one and two. Oh hey, we need fighters here. Cool. Okay. It was a prequel to mostly two, but it did lean into uh, parts of one just because one and two were basically almost direct sequels from each other. Oh, this bastard again. Is this guy worth it? Can we run from this thing? Yes, we can. Now, yes, two took place, I think, like, five or ten years after one. But there were still quite a few characters from one that carried over into two's story. And I just thought those games were like really peachy neat. Yay, free holy spell! Aw, oh, free holy spell. Hmm. Mmm, coffee. Ba 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 da ba da da ba da da. Hey, we got the decent uh, miracle blessed upon us. Wonderful. Bob. <laughs> yeah, still did you know nice decent honk of damage. Uh, we want him stick around because we're going to do a nice big heal. No, never mind, he's dead. No, come on. I guess we do. I got to go that way. Proto phase. Screw you, proto phase. We're out. We out. Peace. And I'll also be eventually playing some Fantasy Star Online too on the channel. So I mean, I don't, I do not have. I've, I've got quite a few things I can keep playing, uh, with you guys and for you guys. Yeah, I've got tactics as well. I, I enjoyed tactics. Uh, I really should find that and play that again. Um, because that was interesting because it did take advantage of uh, the DS's online capabilities and let you. Like, I think there was like, I think like ghosts or something like that. You basically pulled other player characters into your game or you could go into other players games and like help them out with like uh, certain kinds of side quests, I think it was. And, uh, you know, get levels and items that way. And I thought that was a pretty neat idea. I thought that was a pretty neat idea. Oh, uh, well, we got, we got whammied. Up and away! Oh, he's studying, I guess. Hmm, let's take a look at this thing. I, I can't tell. 
And there's the clock. A clock, rather. Boulder gained a level. Aha, Lunar Ruins. A golden apple. Yeah, I think this treasure is going to be different every time. Uh, obviously, we've gotten some golden apples out of it. Uh, we got the Vishnu vest last time. So I think it's like, it has a chance of being a golden apple, a Soma drop, or like a specific item for one of the characters. Let me see if the guy's got anything in the guide about it specifically. Uh, there are three float. No, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it's saying anything specific. Yeah. No, it really doesn't say anything specific. Boot that. A boot that. No. All right. Let's see. All right. Have a good night there, Kendall. I had a PlayStation 2 remember correctly. It followed. Uh. Oh, tactics followed four? Is that what you're saying? Oh, hey, we, look, we got dolls. PTSD time. Oh, that's a big doll. That's a big doll. That's a big hurdy doll. Let's cast flare on that doll. See if it likes that. Uh, we'll kill it with super fire. How does that sound there? Hop here. Here, see super fire. <laughs> Piercing laser. Did nothing. You have done nothing to me. I do not fear you. Let's get a miracle in here. Oh, he's confused. That's not cool. Crunch, crunch. Free flare? Free flare? Aw, oh, no free flare. Free tornado? Free tornado? Aw, oh, no free tornado. But a miracle? Hey, look at that! We cured the confusion! The confusion. Free holy? Free holy? Oh, no free holy, free holies. Ow. Ow. I mean, she's got plenty of magic. I could be using magic. Don't see why I'm not. Oh, well, never mind. It's dead now. It doesn't matter. Hey, gave us a potion. Wow. Thanks. A whole potion. God, maybe I'll actually play the Mega Man Battle Network game I have on the GameCube. I only played through a little bit of that when it first came out. Even though it was made like the original Mega Man games, you know, like the side scroller shoot 'em ups. It was still kind of fun. It's all fire started dropping a rogue tech. Ah uh, yes. It probably bails itself out fairly equally in that case then, huh? Oh, did I use Odin? Yeah, I used Odin. It's not going to work, see? Hi! Oh, it faked me out for a second there. Usually it blips a lot quicker. Oh, Kane, what are you going to do? Are you going to jump on us? Betcha he would, that loser. So I'll be honest, I would have played the, like, the DS version of this if it actually worked on my Steam. Uh, apparently that game probably doesn't like the new processor or whatever from some of the things I've read. Uh, so it doesn't work properly. But um, I like all the extra stuff they added uh, in that DS re-release. Oh, wow, a potion, thanks. I think playing that through that stuff would have been fun, too. But I do have the uh, 3D 
remake of or the three yeah three D remake of the After Years. Uh, so actually, I might I might play that after a little while of uh, you know taking a Final Fantasy play break, taking an RPG break. I think I think that might be interesting because I've played through some of the chapter. I think oh I probably have most of the chapters, if not all the chapters of uh, the After Years on the Wii when it was released there. But uh, I, I know the entirety of the game is you know in the 3D version of it, which I do have on Steam, and, and it does work, actually, so uh, that could be played. Protect! Oh god, I'm so dead! I'm so dead! No! Wow, you chunky boy. You chunky boy. Uh, yeah, let's just get some magic real quick here. There we go. Magic! Let's take out this creepy doll. The grudge doll. It holds a grudge against us. Okay, we literally walked into that one. It was going slower than the other one was. We just like, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, there we are. And besides, these this this battle these battles are fairly painless. So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, piercing laser. Yeah, I'm gonna do less than a thousand damage. Yeah. Yeah, around 4,000 ain't bad for that summons damage, I think. Yeah, it, it, like I said, I, I'm very much on the border of playing 14. And it's, I, I, like, I know I talked about this last night uh, on the art stream, but like the only, I'm very much teetering on playing it. Just the only thing is just like, everyone's just too pretty looking. Is that it, it sounds weird, but that's my hang up. All the races are just too pretty looking and that I I don't know why, but I'm just not a big fan of that. And if it's the art style and, that, and that's fine. And I mean, it's 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 a Japanese game. Yeah, of course, everyone's going to be very pretty looking, but it, it's just something about it that I don't find appealing yeah but they're still like comparatively they're still you know like you know we, oh there's the other dot okay it, yeah they are the least pretty but again at the same time it's just like yeah but i don't feel like you know playing as that race kind of thing All right, let's get some miracle. Oh, no, I guess I'll aim. It's mom's dragon. Hi. What was that? Oh, that's right. It also gives us blink too because of um. Gives us one le level of blink because of the. Uh, forgot about that, because of the item she has. Oh wow! It even gave it to Kane, even though he wasn't even on screen. That's pretty bitchin'. That's pretty bitchin' indeed. All right, let's wait for the miracle to trigger. There we go.
I don't know, maybe someday I'll, I'll venture into that game. I don't know. Yeah, what item is that that she has that? Yeah, the mystery. That's right. That's right. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use the cottage. Um, all right, let me just double check something real quick. Okay. Let me just read about this final battle here. Uh, once you defeat and leave, you can leave. If you defeat it before completing the trials, you can go back, defeat him again. Complete all the trials. It'll no longer be open to you. Okay, I think we can still beat this guy. I think we can still come back to the ruins after beating this guy. So, let's, uh... Let's bust some heads. Let's bust this guy's head. Who's there? This is my world. Who dares step into it? Who? I am complete darkness. I am Zeromus. But at the same time, I am not. I am Zeromus Ing. It's been a while since I've seen humans. Don't fail to amuse me. And he looks all creepy pasta. Just like my aunt. Oh, hey, look, there's a. Yeah, there, and there's, there's even like an elf chick in his chest. For some reason. And I'm full of skulls and bones and meat. Look at all my meat. I'm gonna turn you into a toad. I'm gonna to turn you tiny. Free flare! Ah, don't use spells on me no more. The fuck was that? There we go. Sup, bitch! I have so much meat on me. So much meat. Yes. probably should have healed because I'm going to get that random holy spell it's going to reflect off and hit Rosa let's go ahead and use that drag and get that free blink water break all right I think I will have some coffee thank you yeah, this is hot isekai girl elf girlfriend yes it's it, it, it's just a body pillow we know that it's just a body pillow it's just a body pillar he, he's holding in front of him with his, like, w w torso hands, probably. Because look at all the bones and meat I have on me. I am totally a human with this, but with all these bones and all this meat. Uh... Posture check and stretch. All right, I like those while uh, these all kind of go off. I'm exploding! Ugh. See, look, it's like it does like a constant, basically four thousand damage on average, and that kicks ass. Just for like a basic little bitch ass summon, and that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Speaking of bitch ass basic summon, Chocobo Kick, go! Let's use an arrow on this bastard. 
Yeah, Chocobo, you take away that one drain HP he did. Ow, stop it. You know, two can play that game. You're gonna osmos me? I'm gonna osmos you, bitch. Oh, fuck berries. Welp. I forgot about that. Oh, it's not like Cecil uses a lot of magic anyway. Oh, hey, Earthquake. Okay. Does that... Okay, did Earthquake actually hit a cell? I'm going to be honest, because... It's technically a physical move. Okay, that... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Do the thing. Where's the thing? Elixir. Yeah, yeah. There it is. There's the thing. Let's use the thing. Bye. Cecil, Cecil. Yeah, I mean, I, I said Cecil to begin with because, you know, Beanie and Cecil's. I grew up watching that part of that show. My dad would rent the videos for us because that's the show he grew up with. But um, in the uh, 3D version where they do the voice acting, they do call him Cecil. Tsunami! Since I was 14. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like when I first played the game years ago, on the, uh... oh, you know what? Very well, we'll do a meteor for old time's sake. For old time's sake, we'll do a meteor. It's a nice, nice, fun little meteor. Yeah, I said I said Cecil too, because like I said, Beauty and Cecil, I'm coming, Beauty boy. Cecil, help! That's an old Bob Clampett cartoon. That's right, I'm hearing that down there. That's what's going on. I can't reflect on myself again. I cast you toned. Uh, you know what? Let's just we'll give him that back. We'll get we'll get some health back on a uh, cane there, or toaster as we're calling him. There we go. Now he can jump away. Oh, look at that. You learned something new. Thank you, Night Owl. Wait, do I have Maiden's Kiss? Yes, I do! I don't like what you've done to my face. Oh, that just nuked him. Okay. Well, in that case, let's bring him back. We need to use a mega elixir instead of yeah, and yeah. I know exactly. I know it's it's one of those rare times. Like hey, you know what? We could actually need this. Let's use it. I mean, I've got fourteen of them, and I can potentially buy them now. So I was like, you know what? Hey, you know what? This is that use it later time. The fuck? That's disgusting. Why'd you do that? Absorb. Oh, well, at least use tornado after tidal wave. Why did he absorb? That's disgusting. Ew, stop it. You're, you're sucking yourself off, man. That's disgusting. Stop it. No, we're just going to cast Meteor on you. Fuck you. Ah! No, the jumping! The jumping! All of my meat and my bones! And 
And also, it took me only, what, five months to realize that, you know, since, like, nobody else is hanging out with me in the stream, which is fine, um, I don't need to wear my headphones. So I could just, like, you know, listen to the TV's music and things like that for all that. But I still got my headphones plugged in to uh, do some sound muffling so you guys aren't, you know, getting, like, bouncing sounds and echoes coming off. Coming off. Apparently, shaking and vibrating horribly. You have defeated me. I was unaware of the existence of those strong enough to do so. Now is the time to take a short sleep. I must rest. Farewell. <laughs> Well, okay then. Yeehaw, I guess. Yeah, we didn't get any experience from that, did we? I didn't get any experience from that, which is fine. Look at that. We, uh, we kicked the boy's ass. We kicked his ass, ladies and gentlemen. Let's head to the blue planet. We got some time left. Where'd the Enterprise go? Where did the Enterprise go? Oh my god, I swear to god, if the Enterprise is... Oh, this is gonna be frustrating. Okay, bring up a bring up the world map. Because I think it was last seen in was it Agart? I think yeah, Agart I think is where that was. So No. Yep, there it is. Yep, okay. There is the Enterprise. Okay, so. Yeah, it actually moved the Enterprise from where we had initially for Sid's uh, challenge. Okay. Okay, no, we, we can get it back. We can get it back. Don't worry. We can get it back. We can get it back. We'll get the Enterprise back. Uh, but first, let's swap, let's swap everybody out real quick, though. Or at least a couple people out because, again, that Vishnu vest. I'm pretty sure that is for Yang. It's either going to be Yang, Edge, possibly Edward. Whoa, God, he's so useless in this game. He was more useful in, uh, more useful in, in the 3DS remake, I swear. Do, 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 boop, boop. Talk to the big chicken. Brock. Okay, I know I still have it on my person. Uh, but we can sell the keys, we can sell the fang. Sell the alarm clock, sell the fang. Sell the bomb, sell the fang, sell the fang. Uh, sell that. Oh, sort my inventory, okay. Sort, sell my inventory, yeah, all right. Sort my inventory, equipment. Okay, it is his. Um, no, yeah, we'll put that on him. That's a pretty good increase, defend, defense increase, and only like loss of a single attack point. So yeah.
Uh, red jacket. Oh, yeah, I can put a ribbon on. Yeah, we'll put a ribbon on him. Let's go ahead and put the whip in there. Uh, we're going to be selling those keys. Frying pan. Well, yeah, that's, that's in our inventory forever. Uh, let's see. Keep those claws just because. We could sell that. Yeah, keep that. I mean, that's. We're keeping a lot of the stuff just because it's there to keep, but you know, whatever. Minerva's plate. Rage of the gods. <laughs> Uh, poison axe we could sell. Oh, sort my inventory. Anyway, uh, well, he can wear the ribbon. Let's go ahead and put the ribbon on him. She's already got a ribbon. Funny mask. <laughs> Funny mask. Right, let's go ahead and put that on there. Press from paralysis, yet the ribbon prevents from everything else. No, let's put the funny mask in there because, you know, it's like a quote-unquote exclusive item. Well, I mean, in this game, in this version of the game, uh, he's got... He's got Apollo's harp, which is... Is that from his Ruin Challenge? I think it was. Oh yeah, he was. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm not saying he's never been useless. He's always been useless, but he's like less useless in the 3D in the 3DS version because like they actually made him um, decent as far as um, his item his his share ability goes. The curtain, yeah, reflect light curtain. Wait, same as a as an attack barrier with reflect effect. So lunar and light curtain are the same thing. Okay, interesting. Anyway, and plus, I think like he could also use the potions while hiding. I think. I almost want to say that might be wrong, but but yeah, he, again, he was just less useless in the Final Fan in the 3DS version. Basically, is what it comes down to. He was yes less useless there than he was in these other previous versions. Plunder. Hey, look at that. You stole something finally. Without being detected. Yes, he is, of course, a still a Spoonie Bard. How dare he? You Spoonie Bard. You Spoonie Bard. Always and forever. A spoony bard. I miss that musical group. The spoony bards. They used to perform at uh, the convention I went to. But then some of the guys at the some of the guys in the band got really hammered. Did things. Fall out in the group. More things did. And unfortunately, yeah, it's you know. Um you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll keep Yang in the party. But uh, we got to get the Enterprise back to Masidia. So here's how we'll do it. Snakeway. 
Is it Snakeway? Yes. Devil's Road. Is its proper name. Again, the sound is... I just, I just like the music and the sound better than the original Super Nintendo version. You Spooty Bards! But yeah, anyway, like I said about Spooty Bards, um, they were just... They, they just would set up like in the lobby and things like that and just perform music when they weren't doing... If they, if, like, if they weren't having a concert or anything like that, they usually at night they'd set up and just play music for a couple hours, which was really rocking to them. But um, uh, one year there was this dude cosplaying as as Tella, and he's watching this, you spoony bards, you spoony bards, and that was pretty cool. All right, Black Chocobo, let's go. Yeehaw, let's fly over the ocean. And here we are. And now back to Missidia. Click the Enterprise. There we go. All right, remember, all right, everyone, remember where we parked. And back when I first got this game, I'm like, man, that little whale's you know, that thing is so big. Could I like land one of these things on top of it, like either like an aircraft carrier? I think that would have been pretty neat. And take the uh, smaller airship up to the moon. But that's when I was young, dumb, and stupid. Now I'm old, dumb, and stupid. Right, let's put more things inside Giant Bird. Uh, oh, we can't put summons inside Giant Bird. Boo. Uh, but Crystal Mail and the Dragoon Gloves, we can't. Thor's Hammer is still uh, situationally helpful. When we have it, of course. All right, let's go back to the moon's core and kick that old man's ass. Because why not, right? No, you guys ain't worth it. Go away. Stop it. Don't look at us. White Moose! <sighs> I was about to pronounce, I was you know, that purple one, whichever one that is, I was not about to pronounce that. Purple something. Abyss worm. Ah. Wow, we're only dropping three digits of cash running from these things. Oh, that's another thing about Suiko, about the Suiko Den games that I like. Um, instead of running from enemies, you can bribe them. You pay them to get away for free. And then when you start getting land, then like if you're like out leveled in an area going back for like maybe an item or something like that you can let them go you can let enemies go let basically let them flee i like i like that's what i like that about those games too oh yeah uh flashing light warnings so maybe look away right about now and i'll let you know when you can look back Okay, you can look again. Flashing lights uh, have ended. And let's go rock and roll, kick some bitches ass. Yeah! Well, 
watches as like nothing attacks us. It's just like, nope, no, nope, we ain't gonna screw with these guys. They too strong, man. Wait, was that what I think it was called? We gotta get into another fight. There we go. Thank you. Okay, deadly. Right? That that's that's what he does, I guess. Did I not equip his? Oh, why are you rowing? Stop it! No, you weren't supposed to row. Just attack, you fool. Oh, well, yeah, this thing's bone. Ah! Okay, hang on a second here. Oh, Hand of the Gods, I guess that's what he was, that's what his, uh... I don't know, increase, gloves increase the strength of the monks. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, okay, now we're back in the fourth. Now we're back in the four digits of cash. Again, still no big deal to us. It's a drop in the bucket. Okay, at 10,000. Stop it! Don't like it. Ah. There we go, we got the cash back. Bone dragons ready. Well, I guess I'm out. It's a race to the end of the game. We've got half an hour left. Can we do it? Maybe. Maybe. Eh, yeah, let's beat this guy up because he does 666. Experience, woo! Spooky Satan number! Ooh. Again, I think that was like 6766 or something like that in the original Super Nintendo. Alright, quick heal. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, quick heal. Quick save. And zoom. <laughs> I just like to imagine all the characters just running. And just like slapping and shoving everything they come into out of their way. Just...
Everything's just like screaming and running away from them. You know what? You know what, Wicked Mask? Screw you. Screw you. In all your entirety. Oh, that's a that's a poor choice of effects. That, okay, that was unfortunate. That was greatly unfortunate. We gotta, we gotta work around that. We, we, we gotta work around that, I think. Yeah, that's, that wasn't good. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, damn it, come on, you fucking son of a bitch, game. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, screw you, mask. Nah. Nah. All right, fine. Hey, even these guys have some crispa against us. I mean, they're not hurting that much, but yeah, they got some crispa. They could take a part pounding. Ah, hey, double jump! Ha ha! There it goes. Okay. All right, can we run away before we defeat the enemy? That's the, that's the name of this mini game now. Defeat the enemy or run away. We'll find out in a second. What happens first? Oh, and we got defeated first, okay. New mini game. Run or defeat, run or defeat. New mini game. Holy spell, hell yeah. We'll take that. Oh, uh, well, defeat first. Oh. This one we might actually uh def we might actually run first on this one. Oh man, that red dragon just ain't red dragons ain't having much luck, are they? Oh, oh look at that, look at that. We actually ran. We actually ran this time. Nice. Oh, click that. Up over and around. Too long to die. Ow. Stop it. Yeah, I think these guys we can run to fairly competently. Uh oh. My better starting to I think my better starting to go out, which is why we're getting like the head to head to effect.
Oh my gosh, stop it. Alright, 20 minutes. We can do this. Come on, let's go. Blah. I have my spooky arms out. Don't know why I made him sound like, you know, the stereotypical Dracula. But I have, and I did. And that's what we're going with, I guess. First part's done. <laughs> yeah, we're all here. Hurry up and stop talking. I like that. I just, when that icon sprite twitches, it's like it's all throwing a hissy fit. Like, no, 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 I don't like it. But No, how could you? I'm a hairball. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, let's see if I can do it. You old fool of a man. Oh, you're right. Shoot a biscuit. That didn't work. No, it didn't. Uh, Bubkiss. Yeah, it didn't work either. Die. Oh, you big poop. <laughs> oh, now we must all pray and do things. Begin the cutscene. Was it wishing in the original Super Nintendo version, or was it praying? I honestly can't remember. It was probably wishing. Yeah, yeah, I'm like 98% sure it was wishing, yeah. Because, you know, Nintendo of America was weird, was weird like that back in the 90s and 80s and 90s. You know, absolutely no, nothing related to uh, religion could be in the games. Yeah, crosses are centered out, uh, with the exception, obviously, of Castlevania, which, you know, crosses in holy water fighting vampires, but that's also because just, I think, because of the uh, whole media mythos around vampires is why that slid. Well, here too. At least we can get these guys started up.
All right, let's lay it on thick, buddy. Ah, look at me, I'm spooky. Ow. The, f the hell was that? Take that. That wasn't cool, you jerk. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do, let's, let's get that blink out real quick. Get another deadly going. Even though I don't think he uses physical attacks. Yeah, we survived worse, right? Yeah, yeah, we have. Come on, Asura. No, boo. Wrong face. Get yourself back up to full. There you go. There you go, champ. And there we go. Look at that. It, geez, that was like two minutes, I think. Could probably put that whole fight into a clip. Like it happened like 15 minutes ago. Why? Why are you doing this again and again? What am I a joke to you? Yes. Yes, you are. There he goes again. That's oh, right, turn the control off. And ta da! Oh, look at that. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and just boop. There, I meant to do that restart on purpose. Because we've seen that many a time. At least three times. Yep, go through that. Oh, look at that. We still have, yeah, we've still got a handful, yeah, handful of uh, monsters we haven't fought, to be honest. Uh, some just at the very beginning. And honestly, I'm not sure if we can encounter all of them now because some areas of the games we cannot return to. And that's fine. That's no big deal. It's not like we're completioning this anyway. Because if we did that, oh, we'd have so much to grind out for the uh, for the enemies, as far as items and stuff, stuff like that goes. Yeah, I'm a big nasty man. Well, 
yeah, he's got some high magic defense. Low regular defense, okay. That's probably why he, yep. And that was, and that's, you know what? That was Final Fantasy IV, advanced. Uh, aside from basically either restarting and trying to get 100% on the bestiary and getting like all the secret drops from all the enemies. Uh, yeah, look at that. We've basically done everything we can in this game. Uh, it was a ride. It was fun. Uh, I enjoyed playing through my, it was essentially my first Final Fantasy game uh, with you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, oh yeah, we did every special dungeon for all the characters. Um, we beat the game with all the characters to unlock their ruin challenges. But yeah. We've done, like I said, just about everything we can in this game, aside from just like grinding, grinding, grinding out all of the special items and weapons from the rare drop tables, which are like a 1% drop or something like that. Uh, next week, we're probably going to be sticking to Super Nintendo. <clears throat> like I said, starting next week, we're probably going to be playing through... Uh, the Mega Man X game, starting with Mega Man X1. And we'll be playing the trilogy on the Super Nintendo. So I've got Mega Man 1, 2, X1, X2, and X3 on the Super. Uh, yes, 42 hours to complete the whole game. Um, what in the hell was that phone? Oh, that's what that was. That was a reminder for something. Okay. Uh, anyway. Um... Yes, we will be getting the Hadouken in Mega Man X. Um, getting the Shoryuken in X2 is a little bit tricky, so I'll try that a couple of times, but not guaranteed to get that. And you're damn right we're getting the gold armor in Mega Man X3. Um, probably won't be sacrificing Zero, though. Again, spoilers for like a nearly 40 year old game at this point okay maybe not 40 maybe, maybe a little more like a 35 year old game but uh, we will not probably not be getting zero saber um, but I will be talking about that and the changes it will potentially make to the end of the game uh, anyway uh, we got 10 minutes left uh, 10 minutes left what are we looking at here uh I could swap. Uh, do I want it? Nah, let's not swap games necessarily. Tri trivia. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, not not trivia. Uh, bu 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 I say, I don't really know. Let's see. What do I have on hand over here? Uh. Nope, can't pull that up because that's a DS game. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. More DSs. Oh! You know what? Why not? Change game pack. Quit the game? Yeah, that's fine. Who doesn't like Pokemon, right? And of course, I got the best remake of uh, that generation. Leaf Green. Fight me. Gosh, only 94 in the Pokedex. Wow. Wait, where'd the rest of the team... Why is the rest of the team in the box? Bill's PC. All right, let's get let's get the rest of the boys out. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was transferring some up to Pearl. There's the there we go. Yeah. 
right, let's get these guys. Yeah. Let's get the team out. There we go. Let's get Hard Rock and we'll get Crusher back on the team. Magna Pulse. And Plague. Alright, where are we exactly? What city are we in? Celadon! Oh, they're only up in the 50s? I mean, that's fair, I guess. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot... Well, no, I take that back. There is some stuff post-game to do here. Because there is the Verse Seeker. Um... Right, hang on a second. Uh, is it Cerulean City? It almost has to be Cerulean City. Yeah, only in the 50s. Oh, the Elite Four Part 2? Uh, I don't think there was a battle tower in this version. Uh, where is it? There's my select button. I'm in the wrong city. No, it's not Celadon. Damn it. Wow, I can't believe I'm forgetting where I need to go. Yeah, the Sevi Islands. Okay, it is in the Sevi Islands. Yeah, but that's... Okay. Oh, yeah, Gen 2 was... Yeah, Gen 2 was awesome. Trust me, if... If I could get a DS capture card, uh, you're guaranteed I would play, replay uh, Leaf... I would replay... Uh, I'd play Soul Silver actually, because I've got uh, Heart Gold, and I am not going to restart that game because I have completed Pokedex in that game. I've got all I've got all the pictures taken. Well, a lot of the super cool rare pictures taken in that game. But yes, uh, Gen 2 was like a phenomenal sequel in both the remakes and just the original games. They were just phenomenal games. A Pidgey. Lol. Lol. Body slam this bitch. That's really the verse seeker is what you got to abuse. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. Look at the the bike trails in the sand. Gosh, a lot of fun detail in this game that they just put in there. Yeah, I completed the original Pokedex in my original blue version. I got close to completing the Pokedex in. Uh, in gold uh didn't play gen 3 until this game came out because like you know you couldn't trade up from gen 2 to gen 3. uh that's why that's why i didn't really play through ruby and sapphire initially okay wow have i not fully explored these islands huh this is news to me. And again, it's also been quite a few years since uh, I played this version, and I'm pretty sure I did not restart it at all. So, uh, look at that. Here we go. We get to uh, see some actual playthrough and not just curb stomping lol. So, yeah. Oh, Victory Bell. Gee, I wonder what we'll use. Uh, obviously, Hawkeye is up there. Do you have what I think you have on you? Yes, you do. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and use... Let's just use this boy. And Flamin' War for it. It's a 
surprise. Oh, so close. So close. And Sludge Bob. Oh, full restore, you cheap son of a gun. It's parallelized, it may not move. Well, let's use another flamethrower then. Because that's not going to be very effective against him. More paralysized. Okay, stop. Stop being paral paralysized, please. You're making me angry. There you go. Burn. That was a nice little bit of experience. Uh-huh. Yep, that's right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I beat you. All right, bag. Yes. They're friendly because they got close to me when I gave it an item. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay. Apparently I didn't fight that guy before. But I fought the other one. It's a Sentret! Oh, how cute. Gen 2 is just normal ass dude. Oh, well, hey, Crow, what's up? We're just about to. We just. We finished up with uh, Final Fantasy IV here. And then just to kind of just fill up time till the end here, which is basically where we're at, I decided to pop into Pokemon. My Pokemon Leaf Green version. But yeah, let's go ahead and. Yeah, this was Leaf Green. This was Leaf Green. So I had to pop that in for the last like 10 minutes here. But I am up on my time now. So before I get too carried away, uh, before I get too carried away, we're just gonna go ahead. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Anyway, like I said, before I get too carried away, we're gonna end things here. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, next week, like I said, we're going to be starting up on the Mega Man Trilogy on Super Nintendo. So, as always, you guys have a good rest of your afternoon, weekend, and I'll catch you next week on the uh, Untitled Art Stream, because it doesn't have a title yet. Have yourselves a good one.